Welcome to another Stardew Valley video. Today we will be discussing some of the best rings in Stardew Valley. There is quite a large selection to choose from and it can be a daunting task to actually pick one. Hopefully this video can give you some clarity and help you choose the best ring for you. Before I start, if you are early in the game, you should probably use any ring you can find. At the end of the day, any ring is better than no ring. So if you find a small magnet ring, just use it until you find something better to replace it with. Alrighty, let's get started with the slime charmer ring. I'm pretty sure you know about the slime charmer ring. It will prevent slimes from damaging you all together. If slimes ever annoyed you with their tankiness, decent damage, and even their absolutely annoying slow debuff, then the slime charmer ring is for you. To get the slime charmer ring, you'll need to defeat 1000 slimes at either the mines or at the skull cavern. Then you will receive your slime charmer ring for free at the adventurer's guild. If you do lose it by accident, you can buy a replacement for 25,000 gold. Defeating 1,000 slimes might seem like a pretty crazy task, but it's not that bad. The slime charmer ring will also make raising slimes much, much easier. Next up is the vampire and the soul sapper rings. These two work in the same way and are pretty good when you combine them. The vampire ring will heal you for 2 health every time you defeat an enemy. 2 health seems quite insignificant, but if we use some quick math, 2 health multiplied by 1 million is 2 million. So based on that logic, it's pretty good. <laughs> You can get the vampire ring by defeating 200 pets and then collecting the ring at the adventurer's guild. The soul sapper ring works in the same way. It gives you 4 energy per enemy that you defeat. The vampire ring and the soul sapper ring are great for the skull cavern challenge that prevents you from eating any food. But the soul sapper ring is a little bit harder to get. You will have to open chests in the volcano and hope that you get lucky. But the ring is really good for that challenge. So if you are struggling with that key special order request, try and get both of these rings and combine them. Now, let's talk about the burglar ring. This ring is a must have. The burglar ring will double the chance that enemies drop loot, meaning you will get more coal from dust sprites and you have a greater chance of getting prismatic shards from enemies in the skull cavern. I have actually done some tests with and without the burglar ring and trust me, it makes a huge difference. To get the burglar ring, you will need to defeat 500 dust sprites. To make this task easier, remember that you can use monster musk to increase the number of enemies that will spawn. When I heard of this ring, I managed to get it pretty quickly using some monster musk. Now, it's lucky ring time. To be honest, if you manage to find this ring, then you are already extremely lucky. You can only find this ring by panning in those golden spots around the world of Stardew Valley. I tried forever to get one of these rings and I only got one of them so far. Unfortunately, I didn't record it, which is kind of sad. <laughs> if you do manage to get one of these lucky rings, it will increase your luck by one. And I'm always ready to get some more luck. If you have two lucky rings, drink some upgraded ginger ale and eat some magic rock candy. You can get a plus 9 boost to your luck and then you will find so many prismatic shards that you won't even know what to do with them. I think the ring of Yoba is often overlooked but I actually think it's one of the best rings in the game and you can get it quite easily. You will unlock the recipe to craft the ring of Yoba at level 7 combat skill and it will only cost 5 iron bars, 5 gold bars and 1 diamond to craft. The ring of Yoba will give you a chance to become completely immune to damage for an entire 5 seconds. The chance for this immunity to occur is greatly increased as your health gets low and your luck also increases your chances. If all of the stars line up nicely, this buff can occur so often you will feel unkillable. If you are quite early into the game, craft one of these as soon as you hit level 7 combat. It will make your life much easier in the skull cavern. 
Naturally, the Nepal ring will be on my list. This ring is just so cool. I'm not sure if it's that useful because it's pretty situational, but I just really like it. The Nepal ring will cause enemies to explode when you defeat them. This can help you by destroying rocks and ores in the mines, allowing you to find ladders without actually using any energy. Of course, this only works if the enemies that you defeat are within range of some rocks and ores. The explosion will also damage enemies and if many enemies are within range of each other, you can get a pretty cool chain reaction that can actually lag your PC if you are not careful. To get the Napal Ring, you'll have to eradicate 250 serpents in the Skull Cavern. It's not a very fun quest, let's be honest, but at least you only need to defeat 250 serpents. Of course, the Iridium Band will also get a spot on this list. The Iridium Band is an amazing ring that you will unlock at level 9 combat. It costs 5 Iridium Bars, 50 Solar Essence, and 50 Void Essence to craft. You should craft one or even two of these as soon as you can because the Iridium Band is just that good. It will give you the effects of the Glow Ring and the effects of the Magnet Ring. And as an added bonus, it will also give you the effects of the Ruby Ring that increases your total damage output by 10%. This Iridium Band is 3 rings in one and everyone should at least have one Iridium band. Even if you don't go into a skull cavern often, the glow and the magnetism effects are just good enough to use this ring anywhere, anytime. And lastly, the crab shell ring. You guys, you should not underestimate the crab shell ring. It will increase your defense by 5 and each point in defense will reduce the damage you take by 1. Naturally, you can stack defense and end up being incredibly tanky, so don't sleep on the crab shell ring. To get the crab shell ring, you will need to defeat 60 rock crabs in the regular mines and collect your ring at the adventurer's guild. There are quite a few other rings in Stardew Valley that didn't make my supreme rings list, but they do deserve an honorable mention. The warrior ring can give you a burst of strength when you defeat an enemy and the boost is quite good. The hot java ring will make enemies have a chance of dropping coffee and triple shot espresso when you defeat them. You can only find it in the volcano dungeon. The phoenix ring will revive you once per day with 50% health. It could be pretty useful, but you could just simply not die. <laughs> And that is that. I will quickly go through my favorite rings to combine. If you are looking for mad damage and destruction in the Skull Cavern, combine two Radiant Bands with either two Emerald Rings to increase your attack speed or with two Jade Rings to increase your critical strike chance. No enemy will stand a chance. Combining a Burglar Ring and a Lucky Ring makes for an awesome combo. That way, you have a single ring slot that will increase your luck and your chance to find loot on enemies. If you are looking for defense, you can also combine a crab shell ring with a ring of yoba. That way you will be taking less damage overall with a chance to be completely immune to damage. And there is just an insane amount of good combinations that exist. Please drop your favorite ring combinations in the comments below. You guys can be so creative and it's actually quite fun to see how different people play the game. If you got this far into the video, you either loved it or you hated it. So if you loved it, make sure to subscribe because there will be another video again tomorrow and the day after that and forever for that matter. And if you hated the video, you should definitely subscribe too because tomorrow there will be another video for you to hate. Anyway, see you in the next video.